All right, hello everybody, and uh, welcome to my KB2 video. This, oh man, this is actually a pretty good video. Uh, it really shows cases like the destructive power of the KB2, and uh, you're about to get a really good taste of that. Um, still, with the UA system in the game, it's kind of hard to tell exactly where I'm shooting, but it shouldn't be too difficult when you see the guy blow up on the other side of the map. I mean, you'll <laughs> you'll notice when that that enemy tank dies, though. I think. All right. Um, I guess I was a little conflicted as to where I was going to begin with, um, but. Uh, um, Alright, well, first off, I'm going to do a little bit of talking on the uh, KV-2. KV-2 has a 152mm gun. It's kind of what sets it apart from most uh, heavy tanks of the era, or just even in this rank. This thing is actually quite able to shoot above its weight in most every scenario. It can shoot... Uh, it can shoot tanks uh, from the highest uh, tier all the way down to the lowest with the same ease and ability because it has a 152 millimeter cannon that penetrates 75 millimeters of armor. So all it's got to do is hit. Um, all it's got to do is hit. You know. A uh, crucial part on any tank, and boom, it's gone. So that's kind of unique in that sense. Uh, it does have an extremely long reload, and as you can see, the turret does not move fast in either direction. It's a slow motherfucker. Uh, but oh well, you gotta give some things up for the 152. I mean, come on, <laughs> can't have it all. Um, the KV2 actually is quite well armored. Um, if you come up against them in battle, you'll find it's quite difficult. Um, so I sat there and I sniped a little bit and I decided I was going to push this way. Uh, now there's two capture points, but the game really only has one. B is kind of considered a drop, I believe, of some sort. Maybe, maybe it does have two. I've never actually, I don't remember this kind of gameplay, but maybe there is two. Uh, it may be that breakthrough one that's kind of came out recently. Um... But yeah, so I decided to push over through here, <sighs> feeling that I wanted to get an alternative uh, angle of approach on the enemy. Well, that tank just died. <laughs> that was a Panzer Camp Wagon 4 Osfet F2. Uh, and it never stood a chance against the 152's uh, strength. That right there that I'm aiming at, uh, you can only see the outside of it. But that is a T-3457. Um, it's more than capable of going through my armor. So me sitting out here waiting for my gun to reload. Kind of a shitty situation. Because uh, he will eventually shoot me, I'm sure. Um, and here I am just waiting for it to reload. Well, I guess he didn't get that chance. Because I fucking killed him. <laughs> oh, if you look at the very top of the screen... You will see that the enemy have a full red bar, and we have a little bit of blue. So, right now we're extremely losing. We're losing this to the extreme. Um, and here I am, uh, taking, I'm pulling back because I think I took a little bit of fire, and I was like, oh shit, I don't like that. And there's a little bit of glitchiness going on with the replay system, but oh well. I just got another kill, uh, on a... Don't even know what I just killed. Oh, the T-3485. All right. Uh, and I guess I'm backing off to to ensure I take no more damage. The commander was wounded. The cannon breach was slightly damaged. And uh, the commander was a little wounded. But uh, So he did do a shot that kind of hurt my tank. So I'm a little like, oh dear. You know, kind of. Uh, so... They neutralized A, but they did not take A, so we're sitting here 
just uh, mostly just doing a little bit of damage to the enemy team. Uh, but we kill the T-3457. Um, as we're sitting back here. Uh, this is the sad part about the KV-2. It cannot push anything quickly. It doesn't do anything quickly. It's, it's slow in every sense of the word. Uh, so, with the KV-2, you have to be prepared for that. It also means that even though you have the punching power to hit above your weight, you can't do it quickly. Oh, and here's a beautiful shot right here. It's a shell move so quick, I had to really aim forward, but I still got the kill. That was an M6A1. Um, was that a 5.7, I think? This Basically, I just hit above my weight, but that was a tank I could theoretically see any time in battle. And But I was able to smack above my weight and kill him in one shot regardless. <laughs> uh, the M6A1 is actually a terrible tank. Uh, for any of you American enthusiasts that were excited for a true American heavy, don't get excited for the fucking M6A1. It is a terrible tank. Uh, maybe I'll explain in a later video. Here's a shot, same kind of shot, on a Panther. And, uh... <laughs> oh, this cannon right here, if you know how to shoot it, it's, it's pretty decently accurate. I mean, it's not the worst. It Definitely at long ranges, you'll have a lot of trouble getting accurate shots in but oh well it's a price pick uh so here i am and i'm i'm really actually just itching to get through here but there's just so many enemies i can't like move on up and i just want to move up and get crossfire on a i want to make sure nobody needs uh, on the enemy team is uh, able to come at a i want to make sure that i prevent us from losing this game i've had such a good game i want to win it you know <laughs> And the enemy just keep on flying in bombers. <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't been hit yet, honestly, with the amount of kills I've gotten just sitting there in the back. I think this bomber rush actually takes me out. I'm not actually sure. I don't remember how I died in this one. I guess we'll have to be surprised together. Um, I don't know what I was doing there, but okay. Uh, let's see. All right. Trying to make a little bit of a maneuver here. Uh, yeah. Boom. Totally missed that one. So, that's what it looks like when a BT or <laughs> when a KV2 misses. You'll get used to that sight. <laughs> and fully upgraded crew, I don't have uh, the ace qualifications on this, I don't think. I have the expert, I believe. So I'm fairly close to a perfect crew and the tank the tank reloads at about 33 seconds, I believe. So, yeah, even the fastest reload you're going to get, still not going to be that fast. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Um, Alright, we see a heavy tank on the map. No way of actually getting to it. Ooh, look at that. There was a SU-85 in the back. That I was trying to hit. Shell landed short. Didn't really pull off any amazing shot there. Um... When you are riding in heavy tanks, you have to fear the enemy bombers. Medium tanks and light tanks, not as much, because you should be shifting around the battlefield enough for uh, somebody to not get such an easy lock on you. So you, you really shouldn't have to worry about them as to the same degree. Uh, there you go. There was a uh, Jag Panzer 38T. Headsuit. The thing is actually quite well armored, uh, but it gets put into a, a rank or a tier that it just was never going to live through. And here's a bomber coming straight at me. Guys, uh, curious as to what's going to happen here, huh? <laughs> oh, he deviated off of me. Okay, right. we're cool. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. See, I told you. Bombers love heavy tanks. That was quite a great bomb, actually. 
really well angled uh because he had to like level his uh lane like right there at the last second so it's, it was an actually pretty good shot uh and then i load here into my su uh su uh, my t3485 this is the first medium tank in the Russian line that gets the 85 millimeter. Uh, there is a one heavy tank that gets it before this, and that would be the KV85. But uh, let's let's, uh, let's not worry about that tank. It's it's not that good, not in my opinion. I haven't played in a long time. Maybe I'll have to take it out again. Maybe I'll do a replay uh, of the results. Uh, so we captured B or A. We captured the point. Most of this match is going on without a whole lot of my influence, honestly. Like I'm killing people, but I'm not personally putting any pressure on the cap. This is a bad way to play, actually. If you want to guarantee your your victory, you cannot play this way. Uh, if you're just going for kills, maybe you got like an objective in your. Um, get tank or whatever thing because uh, getting the MA1 gives you a lot of uh, missions to do and uh, if you're trying to do stuff like that I mean maybe that's one of the reasons why you're not going for it I don't know all right I just got shot in the side by PZ3 horizontal aiming drive slightly damaged then he hit me again and my loader got damaged um, as you can see, he's only taken out one, maybe two devices per shot. And that leads me to believe that he's actually using the APCR. Being a PZ3 that he is, chances are he is just using that APCR. But, you're never going to do enough damage to a T34 with APCR unless you really just know where to shoot. So, that was a misplay on his part. Uh, that close, he could have used standard rounds not APCR um, so that was a little bit of a misjudge on his uh, part he could have actually taken me out there he got three healthy shots on me before I even got to pull the trigger on him uh, so that was just stupid actually there's really no other way to describe it uh, there was a PZ4 up there that I was shooting I don't remember the which class of the vehicle that it was but I shot it on the left side of the turret, so I imagine, oh, and there's a T-3457. <laughs> if you shoot underneath the turret on most any Russian vehicle, you're uh, in the side, you're probably going to take them out. Uh, here's the F-2 again, I believe. Oh, no, that was an OSFET G. So, that's a new one, actually, I think. Uh, I don't think I actually had that one. Oh, look at this. The famed plane kill shot. <laughs> that is the KI-61. Uh, I forget which nation that is. I am want to say that it's the Japanese, but I'm not actually sure. Uh, <laughs> he made the mistake of coming directly at me instead of circling me or something like that um, you know he just he really came in at too low of an angle too if he came in at a more steeper higher elevation when had the gun elevation to take him out and he could have shot me or done some damage uh, in a lot of cases uh, the planes do have enough penetration to shoot and pin the top armor of your tank but it's all about how they come in on approach for that kind of a shot uh, they really got to be able to pull off some magic with that kind of a shot. Uh, so, you know, he didn't come in nearly at the angle he needed to. This game is actually already over. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of great shots on the KV-2, and then there was the, <laughs> the T-3485's plane shot. That was pretty cool, in my opinion. I rather enjoyed this replay. Unfortunately, with the UI bullcrap, you know, it's kind of hard to get an idea as to what really was going on. But I ended up getting nine tank kills. Got that one plane kill, baby.
and then I got, uh, you know, a death. I uh, pulled out 2,620 points. That is one of the negative sides of the KV2. No matter how good you're doing, you're not going to get as many points in the KV2 as uh, you would in most any other tank doing the same result. I don't know what it is about it. I don't know, you just get crap rewards comparatively. You have to do so much more work to get the same kind of result. But, uh, oh well. That was an uh, interesting match. So, it was nice talking to you guys again. Come back and see my video. Comment below. Tell me how I did. Give me a like if you think I did great. Alright. It was fun gaming with you, JS Rhino out.